Yo, what's up, Dean? How you doing? Yo, you think uh, you can help me with a class project for uh, one of my final projects? Alright, I don't pick you up. See you in a little bit. Homie, I'm blind to these obvious distractions. I'm gonna grind like skaters for a rafter in this rap shit. There's work to be done, but I got tools for you fools. I'm sharpening my tongue, so you bruise when I drool. Don't get confused, cool. If you don't know the lessons of life, better start counting your blessings and count them twice. The devil don't play fair like the color of rice. You get st started, I would say, now a year and a half ago. How I exactly started rapping was I was at a cypher, I was at this party and they were having like a cypher where everybody was freestyling. And um, I was really, I was under the influence this day. <laughs> I was, um, you know, I, before this I would only freestyle with my stepbrother. Right. Me and him just in our rooms playing some beats. And then um, eventually I got to the table and everyone spit and I'm like, you know what, I might as well rap. And, um, you know, the legend goes that I spit for like, 25 minutes straight and like so many different beats i was killing it um you know i definitely remember the rapping i don't know how good it was but i remember freestyling just i felt it felt natural i didn't feel like i put any effort into it afterwards the producer miles jordan he produced like my first five tracks shout out miles he produced uh one or two on dean's list three he's been doing stuff for me all the time so um, he asked me to write a song. He said I should write a song. I'm like, man, I don't do this, man. I'm just drunk. I'm like, I'm just, you know, this is just one of those days. And then later, I just thought about it. I, I wrote a song, and I loved everything about it. I, wrote, I loved the research, how, you know, the structure of the rhyme schemes. Like, I just love the freedom it gave you to express whatever the hell you wanted. Yeah, Exhibit D, they call me Mr. Chatter when I'm in the streets. Uh, yeah, and I don't really chat, I go H-A-M all around the map. Exhibit D, yeah, hey, Exhibit D, they call me Mr. Chatter when I'm in the streets. Uh, yeah, and I don't really chat, I go H-A-M all hey, around the map. I remember when iTunes was first coming out, uh, it was this Flow Rider song. And I don't know what it was. It was something about, it was like the first song I ever bought was on iTunes. And I just loved the whole process. I thought I was so grown. It was like, 12, I was like 11 years old. And I just played this song so much. It was, still, I can't even remember what name it was. Right. But I just loved it. It was a, hard, it was a hip hop song. Um, it was Flow Rider and somebody. But um, Apple I just Bottom remember. Jeans. Huh? Apple Bottom Jeans. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I just kept on wanting to buy more music and listen to it on my iPod. We, I just got an iPod. So I would just listen to all the hits that were coming out in like 2007, 2008. And then I started picking my own music and becoming just like a nerd for hip hop more or less. And that's, uh, I, I saw myself gravitating towards Lil Wayne a lot. Um, who else? Uh, Lil Wayne. Anybody that was hot around 2008, like 2009. So. T.I. was pretty hot. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of good groups. So anybody around there, nobody in particular, though. Nobody was just like, I remember him. As I got older, I just became a hip-hop nerd. I just, something about, ever since I was young, I always memorized lyrics. So I always knew, like, I always would listen to a song and just look up the lyrics, make sure I memorized it so the next time I heard it, I knew them. So I remember doing that for, like, years. Yeah. Exhibit D is what they call me in the lab Because I grasp the concepts of rap Like it was math, uh Experiment with different paths Damn, I know my craft Better than any class Exam, I need a plaque for this But instead, people gonna give me flags for this If you real, tell them quit it with the acting ish Take a laxative, my team immaculate You not a threat for us, okay? Cause in essence, I'm invested with a few men. All my time is precious. I don't waste it for a second. Waking up, getting breakfast, and enjoying the view. Spend the day spitting records. I ain't cutting with you. Stick and move on the chick. I'm the coldest in the south and the north. Not a split. You don't even have to choose, homie. This is what I do on an everyday basis. Pick and choose moves like I'm picking through my ace exhibit D. The image of what comes to my mind every time I used to think about a rapper is just someone waving a hand and a crowd of like whew, hundreds of thousands of people just like going with them and he's commanding like 
especially like on some Bob Marley type stuff where he's actually saying something like, you know, <laughs> breaking down life to you. I just think that's amazing. Like when you can just have all the people. Um, that's the image that like I hold on to every time I'm like, it's tough. You know, I'm like the, the potential. That's always like what I can see as, man. It's, I don't think there's anything in this love, this lifetime that I would I'd rather do. On me, I'm blind to these obvious distractions. I'm gonna grind like skaters for a rafter in this rap shit. There's work to be done, but I got tools for you fools. I'm sharpening my tongue so you bruise when I drool. What usually happens is um, I say I'm from Wake Forest, and then they get skeptical. They're like, he can't really rap. <laughs> they always look at me like, look got glasses on. Look at this guy. But, um, you know, I, I quickly break that, <laughs> whatever that mentality is, but I'm definitely, when people say that, they they always think like, I guess they don't think I take it as serious as I do. Because they know like, Wake Forest is like uh, rigorous, rigorous and academic, so they're like, there's no way he could be really doing this rap. And like, so I think I surprise a lot of people when they see like, I'm really about this life. Uh, 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 let's go. All I say is have fun with what you do. And um, honestly, everything that Everything that I'm being rewarded with is um, all a product of me just doing what I love to do. Following my heart regardless and being diligent and just working at it and everything else just comes in place, man. And that's all I say, man. Hopefully everyone can somewhat interpret that in their ways and just at least think about it. But that's all it is, man. I'm just having fun. Especially on rainy days, I keep the flame lit. Uh, my crazy way. Go to datpiff.com. The, the link is right here. Um, datpiff.com is a great site. You just search Dean Chatham. Or if you don't want to do that, just go to my Instagram. And it's right there in my bio. My Facebook, Dean Chatham, right there in the bio. Um, you got to check it out. It's really um, great growth. It's a great project. Follow me in this journey, it's awesome. I keep doing it, and I love it. Nothing else I want to do in my life, so at least watch somebody. Better start counting your blessings and count them.